Hello, people of the internet. I am Jay. Welcome to my mod tutorial on figure reactors. This is for Minecraft 1.19.2, so take that in consideration for whatever version you're doing this in. But anyway, let's hop into it. So, just to give you the rundown of what you're going to need for the whole mod, most of the materials are basic. So, I'm going to show you. First of all, these are the right here are going to be your priority materials in this mod. So, redstone and iron, these all right here are going to be in crafting recipes, but iron and redstone are going to be like the things you want to get for your reactor. Coal and charcoal you're going to need because you're going to need to turn that into graphite, which you do by putting this in a furnace cooking it. And it'll turn into the graphite bars you need for the mod. Then you're going to need your source of fuel. Which in this case, in this mod only. Well, maybe more mods. But anyway. You're going to need uranium. Or, yeah, uranium. Which. You smelt down and you turn into uranium ingots. And that's going to be your source of fuel. And for a couple other things you could craft in the mod. But. Let's get into this chest. These are our, are all the necessary items, except for a few of these, uh, that you need to build the reactor. So, let's start. First of all, the reactor fuel rod is what contains the fuel in the reactor, but this, I'm just not going to explain them. This is the recipe. So, reactor fuel rod is one. It's 6 iron, 2 graphite, uranium. Pretty easy. The access support is pretty important. It's your in and out for fuel and uh, uh, the cyanite, which is the thing the fuel turns into. So, yeah. And this is just reactor casing, a chest, and a piston. So, pretty easy stuff. Reactor glass is glass and reactor casing. Power tap is four reactor casing, four redstone. Reactor terminals, a little bit more on the expensive side, but not really because it only takes one diamond. But then there's the reactor control rods, which are pretty easy to make. You just need a lot of graphite, some redstone, uranium, reactor casing. And I forgot to grab the reactor casing, so let me pull it out. That's my bad, but here. So reactor casing, which is four graphite, uranium, and iron. So just to let you guys know, whenever you're building reactors, let you guys know the bigger you build them, the more expensive it's going to get because you're going to need enormous amounts of coal to create the graphite needed for this. And... If you don't have enough coal, well, you won't be able to build a bigger reactor. See where I did that word play? Yeah. High five myself. Anyway, then here's what I wanted to pull out just to show you guys, but you don't really need this, and I'm not really going to use it in this reactor showcase. So this is a reactor redstone port. Basically, you could use it to disable your reactor with redstone or enable a redstone signal, run it out of your reactor, and re-into another redstone thing on your your reactor, and it'll shut down your reactor at certain temperatures or fuel fuel levels or uh, power levels when you hit a certain range. So basically, it's it's pretty useful if you use it properly. But today we're not going to be using this. So. First of all, and let me grab a builder's wand. This isn't part of the mod, but um, I just use it to build faster. So, for a basic one, you could go by 3x3, three three, which I'll show you here, which is all you need is 9. Well, you're going to need 18 plus 4, 22 reactor casing, 1 fuel rod, an access port which this case you don't need to but um yeah because this is just a basic one so you were you only need one uh then you're gonna need a control rod on top because 
you need to have the control rod on top of the fuel rod in order for the for it to work properly. You cannot have it the other way around. And yeah. Then you're gonna need reactor casing here, 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 and here. There, 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 and there. Next thing you're gonna need is the power tap. This is what you pull the power out of to get it out of the reactor. Then you're gonna need your control terminal. And then on the back, you could either put reactor glass, which is interchangeable with the walls. So that or just regular casing. So for this case, we're just gonna put casing since it's cheaper and you're building the basic reactor. So there you go. So this will immediately create this little reactor. Now, what you're going to need to do is put uranium in it. Now, uranium is the power source for it. So, uh, input. Input. So, here's the thing, though. Uh, this isn't like the other reactors are. It's like big reactors or extreme reactors where you can just click on it and input it by hand you actually need something to actually put it in so what you should probably do if you're just building a basic one is get a hopper of some sort of kind and just put it right there plop it on and throw your uranium in and it'll just go right into the reactor and see it only took four inglets to fill it because it's just the basic so what you do now is it press this button what it'll do is activate the reactor now you can turn it on and off at any time but here we go now you see how the temperatures are going up well here's the thing you always want to keep those temperatures down or else that will lead to this going up which is radioactivity rate which is how much which leads to how much fuel you're consuming. So at this rate, you're going by 0 0.2 millibuckets, which is not bad by any means because it can go way higher than that. But at the same time, you want to keep that down to um, uh, make sure you're not going through fuel like that. So in that case, you want to have some sort of coolant, which you're going to need... A whole separate thing called a heat exchanger, which I promise to be doing a separate mod tutorial on next. So, watch out for that. But first, you have to look at this. And just for this little reactor alone, you can make almost 850 RF a tick, upwards to 900. And it's way cheap just to build this instead of using like a thermal expansion dynamo or turbines from mechanism even though they're free power or really really cheap to make but yeah so this can create a lot of power but you have to be aware of the expensive costs it takes to make it with all the coal and you so yeah and you see how the power is going up so the more the power goes up the more t the temperature goes down because that way um it when it fills it leads to the reactor just being like vacant so it's not actually working and doing anything so if it's not working it won't be using temperature and creating power that's why the rf is going down too but it also means yeah so even though it's still going you have to realize that it'll still consume fuel periodically so you better be aware of that. But either way, that's pretty much the whole layout of the tori the reactor. Now, uh, if you want to get the power out of it, you have to use this. So in this case, I want to use uh, I'm going to just use a mechanism for it real quick. So let me pull out just a basic universe of cable and energy cube to show you guys. So. And plop that down, and it automatically ejects the power into there, and it's pushing out all the power you get. But once it starts pushing out power, it'll start cranking out a lot more power again, causing your rates to go back up. So just be aware of that in mind. But in all seriousness, 
that's the whole tutorial guys so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys found this useful i will be soon doing a video on the heat exchanger for our, from bigger reactors which allows you to cool the reactor's heat but at that thank you guys for watching i hope this you guys found this useful if you could please leave a like and comment down below of what i should do a tutorial on that next and after all this thank you guys my name is jay and i'm out peace out guys